Your deal this summer to back up Igor Shosturkin and has got off to a great start so far through three games. Almost perfect. 56 out of 57. BC again. Fanned on it. Bonino plays it to the line. It's out front and they score. Deflected out front. Gustafson a little late sliding back across. Jimmy VC has his first of the year. And the Rangers one more time have the game's first goal. But deflected off him nonetheless. Yeah, we're going to get a better look at the replay right now. Watch him coming from your left to right into the screen. Gets inside position on, on uh, Jake Middleton. And then it looks to me like it caroms right off of his shin pad or the top of his skate there's definitely a, in my opinion not a kicking motion there in the New York Rangers cross-ice pass finds Trocek Laferriere to Trocek he gives to Panarin scores and the Rangers have scored on two of their first three shots in the game it's 2-0 New York well the New York Rangers able to work through the neutral zone much pressure at all and and this is not the guy you want to have with a puck on his stick Panarin points in all all the all 10 games he's played in and this shot was just wristed through looked to me like it hit Kirill Kaprizov shin pad there and changed directions and Kaprizov into the corner Boldy center but Rossi fanned on it Rangers have numbers at the Minnesota line. Wheeler plays it back and they score. Gustafson beats Gustafson. And it is 3-0 New York. And it looks like Philip Gustafson will be summoned to the Minnesota bench. Yeah, again, this is a this is a four on three through the neutral zone. This is an outnumbered situation. The Wild have all four players back but are unable to sort everything out when the fourth player jumps up into the uh, into the rush and Gustafson who's now patrolling the first unit the Johansson and Kaprizov play catch up high Rossi in the corner back to Kaprizov Kaprizov for Rossi tried to center Rossi on the backhand saved by quick rebound loose clear to the wall Johansson has it Kaprizov moves in his shot blocked by Truba he leads the Rangers in that department, tied for the league lead coming into tonight. Boldy with it. Kaprizov fires, saved by Quick. Rebound. Kaprizov set it wide. Prider after it for New York. He fights through a hook that results in a lost stick on the play. The Rangers down a stick and a man. Johansson moves in. Centers. Rossi on the rebound. Saved by Quick. Out to Addison at the line. Back to Hartman. Drops for Addison. Addison cuts through the middle of the shot. Quick got a skate on it. Brodeen tied up along the end boards by Kreider. Brodeen comes out with a puck for Minnesota. Got it to Addison. Hartman walks in. His shot blocked. Goes to the corner. Maroon now back to the net. Out front, Zuccaro! And a save by Quick. It deflects up and over the top of the goal. Quick, it's still 3-0 Rangers. And a regular defensive pairing, his third game of the NHL. Rossi spins, gives it to Boldy. Addison winds, fires, and a kick save by Quick. Zabanajad cut off by Mermis. Panarin takes a look, fires, pad save, flurry. Kreider on the rebound, had his shot blocked by Mermis. But when you look at the stats, Anthony, you just showed them here a little bit of, before we went to break, 75% in one-on-one -on -one puck battles. Those are the type of numbers the coaching staff. Ninth game of the season for Mermis. His career high in an NHL season is 10. Quick with a high blocker save. He's lost his stick. Mermis fires off the post. Rebound, they score! <laughs> This period, just throwing and shoveling pucks at the net here. All three forwards trying to get to the paint. Jonathan Quick does not have his stick, and it sits on the goal line. Johansson missed it the first time, and then Ryan Hartman right there. Good call by the referee. It is not in. Johansson misses it, and Ryan Hartman does not. 
and we got some life here at the St. Paul, here in St. Paul on a Saturday night. Felino on the loose puck. Gives it to Faber moving in. Faber centers, they score! Outstanding look there by Brock Faber. This is the play right here with Eck throwing it across. Just getting back out to the front of the paint. Puck goes here from low to high. Nice job finding space there by Brock Faber. And then a great pass to Ewell Erickson Eck right underneath the skates. Out of the reach of Laferriere. Lef Laferriere and that one's just an easy tap in right there for Erickson Eck. And he knows how to deposit those four fit footers in there. And we talked about the way that line wanted to play the game. It all started with Marcus Foligno's work. You've got to make simple plays. You've got to hang on to pucks in the offensive zone. We've seen the Minnesota Wild, especially in the offensive zone. No hope plays out front. Those are called free breakouts for the other team. Then you got to defend. Zuccarello to the side of the net. Johansson with it. They've only allowed four in the third period. Make it five! Zuccarello on the tip! in the second period how the Wild were creating a lot of their offense was getting the puck from low to high because the Rangers pack it in so tight. That's exactly what happened here getting the puck from low to high Matt Zuccarello a little snake bitten in the second period with some scoring opportunities. Brodeen finds him on the back side and what a redirect right here looked to me like that went right off the maybe four or five inches up of the shaft of his stick. You know the, the hands you have to have to make a play like that. What a great well, that should have definitely been a penalty. You're not allowed to, to kick any broken sticks. Up front, Rossi scores! No broken sticks going to stop this Minnesota Wild Air tonight. tonight. Kirill Kaprizov getting the puck out to Marco Rossi. There was basically no space, but he was able to get that puck out to him. And Marco Rossi looked to me like he knocked that one out of the air and caught Jonathan Quick a little surprised by that, that he was that deep in his net. Marco Rossi with his fifth goal of the season, fifth goal in 11 games. The rookie puts the guys in front. And the Rangers tie it. Panarin took a long shot from just inside the line. Looked like it was deflected on the way, and New York has answered. It's 4-4. Four, four. It's coming into the game with six. Face-off win. Set play to the top there. And that one got redirected out in front of the net by Kreider, who's usually you see him with those kind of deflections. And this will take us into overtime. A wild one in St. Paul. And it's... Through regulation, how about the shot attempt edge for Minnesota? 93 to 42. Check out the bottom, the most since 2013-14. Rossi battling, kicks it loose. Faber at the horn, a save by Quick. And the wild pressure continues throughout overtime. But Jonathan Quick keeps this even 4-4. Second shootout for the Wild this year. Zuccarello in. He scores! A little bit of a different look for Zuccarello. Came with more speed. Started on his backhand and beat Quick to the forehand. Yeah, he faked the shot like he was going to go to his fore backhand and then just pulled it quickly to his forehand and empty, complete empty net there. Good start here for the Wild. First shootout this season for the Rangers. Panarin in against Fleury. Fleury went with the poke check, and Panarin looked like it was on the second whack. Stand for Panarin. Yeah, he went for the poke check right here and just got a piece of it, but not enough to knock the puck away from Panarin. And was just able to get it past Marc-Andre Fleury. Trocek must score to extend the shootout. In against Flurry. And a save by 